Hello everybody and welcome to this week's video tutorial on hands. Um, I really enjoyed seeing your drawings from last week, the cloth fold drawings. Uh, those were really great. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the the technical stuff we've been doing. This, this one is certainly technical uh, with drawing hands. Um, you're going to be doing two hand drawings this week. Um, you should draw your free hand, draw your, your, your non-drawing hand. Uh, one drawing where the hand is just uh, open, um, like this one on the top left, and then another drawing where your hand is is holding something, gripping an object, so something where there's a gesture. So I'm going to be drawing these two examples here uh, as the demo. Um, I've always struggled with drawing hands. This, this is something that's really hard for me. Um, so you know, just do your best. I'm that's what I always do. Is is I'm always feel like I'm always practicing with hands. Uh, so with the the top drawing, what I'm going to do is um, approach the drawing from a proportional standpoint. I'm going to be concentrating on proportions. So the first thing you're going to see in the video is me drawing the, the bottom part of the hand, the palm shape, the shape for the palm, the muscle where the thumb starts, and then the thumb. And then this, uh, and then I'm going to um, create some guidelines for the middle of the hand, the top of the hand, and the bottom of the hand. And if you'll notice, you'll see that the palm takes up uh, like the bottom half is about half of the hand and the fingers up here take up the top half. So jump into the video. Um, the, um, I think the, 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 the biggest thing that to get down about the hand is, is really the structure of it and, and how it's put together. So that's why I'm concentrating on, on this, uh, proportional aspect for the first drawing. So you'll see, this is the palm. It's kind of like a like a large square shape or almost like a pentagon shape. And then here are the guidelines for the middle and the top and the bottom. And uh, and then I'm moving into the, the top part of the hand and doing the fingers. Uh, you'll have to see on your own hand um, the proportion of the each finger to uh, it to the to the, to each other, and also the proportion of the fingers to the to the palm itself, um, because everybody's hand is different, obviously. Um, but the middle finger is is definitely should be the biggest, um, and you can you can see on this drawing up here, it's the it's the the tallest, it's also the widest, and the index finger and the ring finger are roughly the same, and the pinky being the shortest. Um, when I when I draw fingers, I really concentrate on how long they are, um, and then also I try to keep in mind that the fingers have three metatarsals, which are those the bendable parts, kind of those little sausage 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 shapes, and the metatarsals that are sh that are closest to the palm are the longest, and then they get shorter as they go up towards the top of the hand. So, um, you know, so that just, it needs some adjustments but it's not too bad you can see uh the middle finger is the, the widest and it's the tallest and i've incorporated the the uh the, the three metatarsals and where they bend and there's a slight arc you can see that there's a slight arc where the knuckles are um, and if you look at the artist's drawing up here you'll see these arc lines where uh which are their guidelines for uh for for the the ends of each metatarsal so Here's the end of the palm, and then the first metatarsal, second metatarsal, and then third metatarsal. Okay. All right. So then the next one I'm going to try is uh, this bottom left example here. This is uh, by M.C. Escher, the Hands Drawing Hands, uh, which you may or may not have seen this before. It's a uh, kind of a classic um, artwork by Escher. And in the Escher drawing, uh, copying the Escher drawing, I'm going less on proportion and more on contour. So uh, because the hand is in an unusual position, I can't really break it down by proportion. There's lots of foreshortening and overlapping and stuff like that. So I'm going to concentrate on just con straight contour for this one. Um, it may seem a lot harder, but I think actually the hand holding an object can sometimes be easier because the hand is gesturing specifically. It's doing something like this one is drawing. So I, I know that the the hand has to look like it's in a drawing position and it's got to be holding a pen. So that can help sometimes when you're making a sketch, uh, you know, give you some, something really specific to, uh, to follow. 
So I'm really concentrating on this one, on the thumb and the index finger, the length of the metatarsals, the bend of the fingers. And then right now on the other fingers, I'm just trying to pay attention to like where they underlap uh, behind the behind the, the front two uh, digits, the, the thumb and the index finger. So here I'm uh, just tweaking that. Um, Work on angles and the bend of each metatarsal. Um, you know, this is, like I said, not something that comes easy to many people. Um, it takes a lot of practice to to feel like you're comfortable with this. So, you know, the more you do it, the, the better you get at it. I'm always, I feel like I'm, if I don't draw hands, you know, on a semi-regular basis, I tend to, to really get rusty and lose, lose it. And, and, you know, it takes me a lot of practice to get back. And the more practice you do, the better. Uh, you feel about it. And uh, yeah, so this one's not too bad. I can tell it's proportionally a little bit off. The thumb is a little bit, either the thumb is too long or the index finger is too short, one of the two. Um, but the pen seems like, the you know, the, the grip of the hand on the pen seems pretty, pretty decent. Um, feels, that kind of feels right. And, um, you know, Escher did a really fantastic job on this, on this drawing of showing all the shading highlights and core shadows and mid-tones to, to give the hand some, some depth. And you can definitely try that if you want to. You're not required to do any shading for this. Uh, really just, just want to concentrate on making the hand look realistic and working on the proportions and then the gesture. So so give it a try. Check out the examples I posted on Classroom. I uh, posted three photos of uh, from other, other artists, uh, their hand renditions, which I think will be really helpful. Um, just... Uh, a lot of those artists just fill sketchbooks pa sketchbook pages with hand studies, and I would definitely suggest trying that out. Um, you know, in addition to your to your two drawings that you turn in, is just just do a bunch bunch of quick drawings. Um, honestly, I think that you know the quicker the better. Just just to get a lot of practice uh, capturing the gesture and the proportion. All right, guys. So good luck with this week's assignment. See ya.